Hello everyone, some updates have been posted that are going to be made to the Mystic Star Zone and I want to look at those in this video. So they posted the updates in the mail, so I will go ahead and um, go to the mail and I will show the letters that they have posted in here. This first one is the November 23 hotfix. So here is what we've changed. The Mystic Star Zone beta season optimizations increased the protection periods for all meteorite ore. This is something that I was looking forward to because I felt like the protection periods were very um, short. I felt like I had to go um, into the um, Mystic Star Zone uh, very frequently and check to see if my meteorite ore um, mines have um, stopped operating for me. I hope they increase it by quite a bit because I do not want to be going into um, this event every um, couple hours or so or very frequently. Optimized treasure vault um, related quests and optimized militia challenge quests. So they're making some changes here to the quests as well so I can't wait to look at that. And increase the amount of regular chests and premium chests available in the treasure vault. Additionally arcane staffs can now be found in these chests. So increasing um, the regular chests and premium chests available, I don't know if this means that you will get more of the chests, but they're just increasing the, um, the amount of the chests and they're also adding the arcane staff so, um, for the ghoulish gallery and increase the amount of premium chests for militia ranking rewards. So optimizing the quests and also increasing some um, chests in here as well. And the second, um, the second mail that I want to look at here is all the way down here. It's this one, and this one is called the Mystic Star Zone Chest Opening Notice. Chest rewards will be updated and optimized for round two of the Mystic Star Zone. In order to ensure the fairness of the event, please open your chest in the treasure vault as soon as possible, as unopened chests will automatically be opened. So one thing I want to note here is that the, um, the chest will be updated and optimized for round two of the Mystic Star Zone, so these changes will be updated for round two. They're not waiting for another season of the Mystic Star Zone, which I like to see that they're not going to wait here. They're going to um, implement these immediately. Also, they say that unopened chests will automatically be opened. I don't know if this means that um, they're going back on um, just pretty much having everyone who don't open the chest just lose their chest. I don't know if they're going back on that, if that's what that means. But if, if, if that is what that means, that is very good because um, they were the, what they were going to do is that they were just going to um, have people lose their chests if they um, don't open them, which is something that is not good at all for those people who um, just accidentally don't open the chest. They will just lose the chest entirely that they have gained in the Mystic Star Zone. So hopefully they will be uh, making sure that everyone gets their chest. It doesn't matter if they open them or not. So there are the changes there. Um, let's go ahead and look at the Mystic Star Zone event quickly. We are currently in the enrollment for it for round two. So these changes will be implemented in round two. So let's go ahead and look at um, these changes here. So let's go over to the rewards. This will show the quests and it'll also um, show some of the chests here. And looking at these chests here, um, I don't know if um, these ones are new. The Militia Seasons Premium Meteorite Ore five times. I don't know if those ones are new. I honestly did not look too much into the quests, so I don't know um, which quests um, there were during the first round. But some of these do look new, though. And also, they might have decreased some of um, some of the requirements here, like for the Militia Collects Meteorite Ore for um, an X amount of hours cumulatively. It looks like they might have decreased some of these. If I remember correctly, I think some of these were a little bit higher. So if they are decreasing some of the requirements here, that would be um, very nice to see. And again, for the personal quest, I didn't really look at, um, at um, what the quests were telling me to do here. I was just com I was just able to complete them naturally. But if they are going to do something with these, that would be um, very nice to see as well. But the thing I want to look at here is the ranking rewards, because they said they're going to be increasing them. And it looks like they have increased the ranking rewards here. If you remember, um, place, second place, third place, and fourth place only had the um, blue chest here. But now it looks like um, all four um, positions here will be getting at least one of these red chests here. So before, it didn't really matter whether you got second, third, or fourth place. You were still going to get the same reward no matter what. So I felt like some people didn't really try because of that. Because they knew they weren't going to get first place, so why even bother? 
but now they actually have somewhat of an incentive to go for um, for second place here. So hope I'm hoping to see um, a little bit more competition with this change here. I didn't see too much competition um, with the first one, which kind of surprised me. So hopefully I will see some more competition here with the second round. So I'm hoping to see um, I'm hoping to see more rewards here. I'm hoping to see um, um, everyone get some more chests in here for the second round, hopefully. And one thing that disappointed me, especially with the red chest, is that I did not get any of these um, hero choice chests for um, some of these um, awakened heroes for the first round. So that really disappointed me. Hopefully, I'm hoping to, to um, at least get one of those. Overall, I think there could still be some changes made um, to the Mystic Star Zone, but overall, I think this is a pretty good start to the optimizations that they have made here. So it looks like um, Lilith is taking some of the feedback that they have been getting from this event and um, actually implementing that, which is very good to see. Okay, if you made it to the end of this video and you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also comment what do you think about these Mystic Star Zone changes. And there will be a video on screen that YouTube thinks you would like to watch next, so go ahead and click on that video right now. And thanks for watching.